Since the weather warmed up, we are seeing a lot more bugs. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Adam Stremko working for you with what you can do to avoid getting stung by bees and wasps. Well, Barry, now that Memorial Day weekend is here, people will be spending a lot more time outdoors. You may have already heard them buzzing around or seen them on the flowers in your garden. Bees and wasps are becoming more active now that the weather is warming up and everything is in bloom. If you do come across a bee, the best advice is to just leave it alone. But if they're just out doing their thing, gathering wood, gathering resources for their colony, they're not interested in you. So swatting at them, jumping around, getting all alarmed is not a real great thing to do when bees are around. Just stay calm, let it go about its business, and you're in your best and safest posture that way. If you disturb a bee, you're likely to end up getting stung. So if you were to get stung by one of these bees, best thing to do is to make sure that the stinger's not in your skin and be aware of hives and difficulty breathing because some people do have adverse reactions to the venom. If your face, throat, or tongue starts to swell and you do have trouble breathing after a bee sting, you should get medical help immediately. Yellow jackets tend to be the most aggressive bee, but there are not a lot of them around yet. And if you come across a hive of honeybees, you should leave them alone and try to contact a beekeeper who may be able to relocate them. And we tend to see the peak of the bee season in mid to late August. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko.